Now let's actually install Active Directory. Now for the purposes of this course, I want you to understand what I've done. Uh, I simply went to Microsoft's website and I downloaded the trial version, the enterprise version of Windows Server 2008. And then I think I got it with Service Pack 2 already on it. I simply installed it and that's all I've done. Now this desktop that you see, I've added it because this is a VTC video. But other than that, you will be in the exact same environment. So once you have Windows Server 2008 Enterprise installed, you'll be working in exactly, precisely the same environment I'm in. So to kick off Active Directory, now at this point, we simply have loaded Windows Server 2008 onto a box. Now what we want to do is create a forest and a domain by installing Active Directory. And the way we'll do this, we will click on Start, go to Administrative Tools, and we can kick off Server Manager. Now we can also still type DC Promo in the Run box. And it will kick it off and it will end up taking us to the same place. But I want to use the Server Manager here. And if I kick off the Server Manager, uh, it will pop up here and I'll just go to Roles. I'll come down here. Notice right here and I'll go to Roles or I can do an Add Role, whichever one, or I can go to Roles right up here and go to Add Roles. It's all the same thing. This kicks off the Add Roles wizard. I will click Next and I want to set up, I'll just check Active Directory Domain Services. Click Next and it's going to ask me some questions and give me some ideas on installing it, common configurations and so forth. You can read all this uh, during that time you're normally wasting between midnight and four every night. So notice it's telling me that after I install the role then I will use the services installation wizard to make it a fully functional domain controller. So I will install the domain services. I'm going to add the role here and let's uh, give it just a couple of minutes. It'll take it a few seconds here to initialize the installation. It'll have to click and hum and carry on. But this is actually adding that role. Now what it's doing is copying some files it's enabling some functionalities on this server. And then once I get this out there, uh, then we can actually go on through the process of setting up our Active Directory configuration. So what I'm going to do at this point is pause the video so you don't have to sit here and watch this hourglass turn around. And then I'll come back to you once we've progressed a little bit. So you notice now we've started to paint across and it's telling us that it is installing. We finished initializing. And we're actually installing the row. We've installed it. We're collecting installation results. Not a whole lot of uh, fantastic information going on here, but you will notice that it's now telling me that the rows were installed. And so now I'm ready to use DC Promo to make the server a fully functioning domain controller. So I will click close now. And notice I can click right here to take care of all that at once. And it simply kicks off that wizard. That's the same as having closed that and then run DC Promo. And I will click Next. And notice it is giving me some information that I can read through and some knowledge bases. We will just take the default. Now, notice, do we want to join this particular server to an existing forest or create a new domain in a new forest? We want to create a new domain in a new forest. And it's now asking us what is the FQDN, the Fully Qualified Domain Name. We're going to call this VTC.class will be the name of our domain. I click Next. It's going to check to see if that's already in use to make sure that we're not going to have some sort of DNS crash with another DNS namespace that's the same. Uh, it shouldn't find anything. And in just a couple of seconds, we should continue right along here. Now this is surprisingly easy to do and it will normally happen surprisingly quickly. Now the forest functional level which we have not talked about but we will later. I'm going to set it for server 2008 and then I will click next and it's now going to examine my DNS configuration and we will hold on here. We will talk about functional levels a little bit later on in the course in a separate video. Uh, but the bottom line is if I'm creating a new forest of servers it will only be server 2008 so I can go ahead and set that. 
Now notice it is pointing out here that the first domain controller in the forest must be a global catalog server, cannot be a read-only domain controller. We will talk about the RODC a little bit later on. And notice we're saying go ahead and make this my DNS server as well and it's going to make it a global catalog. And so it says that the computer has a dynamically assigned IP address and it's telling me to assign a static IP address and for the purposes of this class I'm not going to worry about it. We normally would want our servers to have a static IP address or it could cause problems with everybody trying to hit the DNS server and the address has changed but for the purposes of this class not going to be a problem. Notice it is saying that a delegation for this DNS server cannot be created because the authoritative parent zone cannot be found or it does not run. It can't be found because there's not one. This is our first one up. And notice it's telling me if I'm integrating into existing DNS, and we'll talk about all that later, I should manually create delegation to this. Otherwise, no action is required. There's nobody else to go to. And now it's going to ask me where you want to put your database. And I'll just take the defaults here. And there's some information here. You can click on this link to answer other questions. And now we can put a password for our restore. And I'll just stick one in there. And whoop, I didn't type it right. Try it one more time. See if I fat fingered at that time. And so now it's saying the NetBIOS name of the domain is VTC. The functional level for the forest is server 2008 for the domain 2008. And the default first site uh, name this is the name of the site. We will talk about that a little bit later on. And we're going to configure this server as the first Active Directory controller in a new forest. And right here I'm going to pause the video and we will complete this installation in part two of installing Active Directory.